the moral character of the prophet to the scriptures. Because in the Bible it says that the scriptures can be used for learning, it can be used for rebuke, and it can be used for, you know, a, a way of um, sort yeah. of, you know, having this yeah. understanding ahead. of who God is. So, what I was doing is comparing the moral characteristics of the prophet to these verses. Now, what I was saying, you came out with this explanation in Deuteronomy about, you know, what the Amalekites did to the, uh, the, um, the Israelites. I was asking you to still, you have not responded. No! I was asking no. you very specifically no. to which you Hamza, did not respond. you got your answer, bro. And I bro. ask of you to please respond. You what got... has the women, the children this guy. and the animals did to the Israelites. That's what I asked Hamza, you. man. Please respond to listen, that. Listen, so simple, easy work. Good. Trust me. Now, and I, I wanna, and respond listen, to it. after this, right, I'm going to give my sort of take on things. I'm going to ask a question. Listen. No, are we going to go to the same question about the same topic or are we going to move on to the next topic? Because it's getting quite late now. It's okay. getting late and I'm getting, getting cold as well. Okay, okay. So I'm going to respond to you anyway. Okay, sure. I'm going to respond okay. to you anyway. So I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to be a little bit nice. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit nice. Okay, all right. Deuteronomy 25, verse 17 to 19. I beg you, if you can open it and look into it, you will see. Okay, I'll read it. No. You're asking me yes. to explain yes. God's decision. No, I'm not asking that. Now, no. okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no wait, hold on. No, 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 no. See, see, look, look. No, no. see, you're getting triggered. Now, listen, listen, I'm listen. Triggered. Yes. I'm correcting you. No, no, you're, you're. I'm correcting you. I No, my question was specific. It's not about being triggered. Okay, go ahead. I'm, my best question is very specific. You, you, I said, you, show me, right? Because we are talk, we're doing talking about the moral character of the prophet. I'm going back to the originality. Oh of the yeah, 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 easy. Right. Okay. You said that Prophet Muhammad see, has no okay. moral character. So what I'm saying to you is that I don't see any moral character in this verse. Okay. Because this all verse right, is talking right, about right. ethnic yeah, cleansing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so, so yeah, yeah. So, that. so, so one thing that you need to be cognizant of is that we yeah, have an just, Old Testament and we have a New Testament. Okay, so it, I, you know, I could, this conversation, this debate probably would end the minute I go and start talking about what Jesus did. Feeding of the 5,000, okay, the answering. healing of the leper. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. The woman that was caught in adultery, okay, now we can go there. The woman that was caught in adultery, excuse me. Which most Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. And Jesus said, who's here to condemn you? Jesus said, he that is without sin, cast the first stone. All of them, all of the guys start walking away, you know. They started walking away. Jesus was there standing. He could have stoned her, but he didn't. Oh, is it because Jesus Wait, was hold on, sin? hold on, hold on. Surah 19, verse 19. Let me remind you, your worldview is that the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is pure. So all this stuff about can Jesus. We, oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get to we're going to get to that in a minute. Okay. So what we see with the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, feeding of the five thousand, healing of the leper. Um, freeing the lady that was caught in adultery. In fact, the, book, the, the, the way the book of Why John... Hold on, I, listen, listen, I'm, be, I'm being nice, question? bro. Listen, I, the end of John, the, 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 at the end of the book of John, <laughs> we have some trolls. <laughs> the end of the book of John basically says that there's so many things that the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth done that it cannot even be contained in all the books so of the world. The so what we have, okay, you listen, you keep talking about Injil, I'm gonna, listen, anyway, okay. Now, so the character of Jesus is that of love. He says, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Did Muhammad do that? Absolutely not. Okay, let's Absolutely not. Let's no, 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 so I'm gonna answer, gonna wait, hold on. I'm gonna answer his question as well because you're saying so many things, you're interjecting, you're not allowing me to finish what oh, I'm saying. Oh, oh. Okay, so. You're asking me about, you keep banging on about, um, and I hear it a lot, about the Amalekites and, 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 and is it okay, blah, blah, blah. Now, these Amalekites, right, they were persecuting the Jewish people for 400 years, okay? Can you imagine if that was Muhammad, what, what he would do? He's going to be, I'm, I'll be with, with respect. An eye for an eye and a two for a two. That's a hundred percent with Muhammad. These people were persecuted. It's different with Jesus years. because theocracy ended with Jesus. But anyway, so what we see in um, Deuteronomy 25, verse 17 to 19, what we see is the answer to your question. Why those Amalekites 
right, were um, um, in, in the book of 1 Samuel 15, were told, uh, God told, um, you know, the Jews to wipe them out. King Saul, he did not listen. He did not listen. But I'm going to give you the context. Do you tell me? I am. Anyway. I, no, 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 but you want to hear what you want to hear. No, I'm happy to but anyway, listen, anyway, but you okay. haven't responded to what I've asked you about the women, the children. I am. And the, and the Don't you get it? Don't Go you ahead. get it? Go ahead. Don't you get it? These guys want to wipe out the bloodline of the Messiah. Which is the children as That's well. That's not. Wait, see, we have a reason for. Are the children wait, responsible hold on, for hold on, wiping hold on, out hold the bloodline? Listen, of the listen, listen. No, hold on. Are the children responsible? Okay. What about what about the children that still? Are the children responsible? In the hadith, if if a child steals, you say cut their hand off. Anyway. Are the children responsible okay, 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 for okay. the blood Okay, of okay, okay. Easy, yes easy, no? easy. I'm answering that now. Please. God is, I don't need to do the talking. God's going to do the talking. Look, yeah, watch, watch. Go ahead. Just tell me to it because you, you don't receive Wahi, Hamza. And you're doing, and a, you're doing the talking. Go ahead. Okay, so remember what Amalek did to you on the way as you were coming out of Egypt. How he met you on the way and attacked your rear ranks. All the stragglers at your rear when you were tired and weary and he did not fear God. Do you get it? Therefore, it shall be when the Lord your God has given you rest from your enemies all around, okay, in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance that you will blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. So does, so God does you shall not punishment. forget. So God does collective punishment. What, like, so, the, no, what, on, like the child no, no, hold on, one that second. steals, one you'll second, cut their hand one off. One second, one second. Well, Under Sharia law, conditions. you'll cut their hand well, off. Hold on, one second. So, no, but you don't care about... You no, got, this is where I was talking listen, about the character You go the on like children are... This is, be, are, are, this are is where, oh, we care about children. This is, hold on. We care we're talking about the characteristic come on, of the prophet. Come right? on. So, so what... Okay, so let me go there. Let me go about the character. Okay, wait. So, so, so... collectively... Hold on one second. So okay, God right. is collectively punishing, right? I'm, I'm listening very carefully. Collectively what, punishing. Yeah, this is called collective punishment, where God doesn't okay. make a distinction between the men, women, and children, those who are not like partisan okay. to, to the atrocities of the Jewish people. Okay. So God is just collectively punishing every single person, including the innocent men, women, and children. Is that justice? Okay, now. No, is that I, justice? Can you answer me, please? If God says to wipe out the Amalekites because they're trying to destroy the Jewish people who he has a covenant with. But you have an issue with the covenant. God the is God's but eternal justice. Yes, no, no, no. So no one's no one is saying that today, right? No one is saying today yeah. that we should go around if you steal something, you cut their hands off. No, no, hold on. But that's second. what we see one in second. Sharia law. No, hold on one second. <laughs> so what's your point? So what's the punishment for adultery okay, in the Old Testament? What about child marriage? Should what, we go what, there? No, 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 no you're skipping. Guys, guys, no, 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 we're, no, we're not skipping. Now you want to run just away. Just look, you guys want to run away. Now, now no, you guys no, want to no, run away. Look, look. No, I'm saying we're going off topic. You guys want to run away. Now we're going off topic. Okay, okay. Now we're going off topic. You want to talk? No. Keep the principle. Yeah. Keep the I don't think you're keeping the principle yourself. No, you're because not. No, no, no. You're no, talking no. about child marriage. Yeah. Then, then you're talking about children you know, is children, bro. No, but hold on one second. You you're, cut their hands. You're the one you hit skipping. them. No, you, on you, you, you oh, sell no. them as a slave. No, no, no. As a, we, you we trade them as a slave. Can we, can we move listen, on to the next listen, topic, listen. Okay, no, hold on. We're gonna wrap this up now. Listen. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the next topic. That's fine. Listen, children are children. Whether you marry them at six years old. Okay, we know the hadith. We know the. You, we no, wait, no, no I have not diverted I think, nothing. Sorry, I think you're no, very insincere. No, no. Because what you've done... What you're saying is insincere. You know why? Because you're trying to say, you're trying to push, oh, genocide, that the, the, the God of the Bible is just... When I've just said so many times to you the same thing, that it's the same, the same Torah that said this, right, that talks about Deuteronomy 25 is in the Torah. The same Torah is the same one that Muhammad accepted. So what are we talking about? No, no, no. Now, and, and then, and then the principle of harm. Because what you're effectively but saying, I Hamza, you let me, that. let me, you're not, Hamza, so you didn't you're going to bury my yourself and no one's going to be there to help. Okay. Pardon, you did not listen so, to so what listen, my response no, to Hamza, that. Hamza, what was my, no, hold Hamza, on. What was my response to the that? The children, children are children. You can harm them sexually. You can abuse them. You so can trade gonna, them. No, look, I know topic. you want to. I know. No, I know. I know you want to change the topic. topic. No, no, now no, you want to change the topic. topic. We're just going no, no. I want to make a one point, and then we go into the, hi sure, the history. Sure. Okay. So I, I think whether it's killing them, cutting them, smacking them, whatever, trading them, it doesn't matter. Harm is harm to children. Now, we know in the hadith that it was contracted 
with Muhammad to marry Aisha at six years old. Okay, so to arrange a marriage, how long does it take? Okay, so now, I'm oh, sorry. I'm so, gonna, so he's I'm gonna, wait, gonna, no, 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 don't, you don't need to interject because everybody what? knows this. No, but hold on, wait, you wait, hold on, let me finish. finish, let me finish what no, I'm finish saying, what then you can come in finish and you can defend your, you know, your prophet. So basically, right, he contracted to marry her at six years old. Some people engage before marriage. Obviously, he would have noticed her before six years old. So what age did he start to have an interest in her? What age? Okay. So now... Six what? years old, so it must have been about when she was like... Right, so when, wait, hold on, when she was a toddler, isn't it? Like two, three... Why are you reading into things that long Why there? not? Why not? Like, He's talking about harm. Are you saying the continuity Wait, hold on, hold on. He, harm is harm. Is harm not harm? Yeah. Exactly. So let's be honest. Let's be intellectually honest. That's one form of harm you're mentioning. Let's talk about another form of harm. You see, the thing is... Now you're going to deflect. What you're doing... You're not going to recognise harm. You're not going to recognise the principle of harm. I have not deflected from anything you've said. If anything, I have... He noticed her at four years old. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. You really got to be just. Do some justice. Okay, then. Because what you're doing... Go ahead. You've mentioned several points. And you, what you've done, you've gone... You're the one that's gone off topic, right? No you way. Have, and I'll tell you why you've gone no off topic. No way. We were speaking about the... I read the... Hold on, let me okay, finish. Okay, let me Allow let me you finish, finish, but be quick, Allow please. Allow me to finish. Because you didn't, no, you're talking, to Hamza, right? Allow me to finish. You're talking, Hamza, because but you're... I don't like when people sort of like change the topic when we've agreed to something. Right, so we change? were talking about... The Amlekites, right? Then what you've done... No, but you're talking about the Amlekites. You're not one talking second. about the Gospels. One, one second. You're not even talking about you, anything we talking of the Gospels that Jesus done. No, no, sorry. Jesus in, no, Jesus in the Gospel. Me, Wait, me to Hamza, I want to make clear because you said it a few times. You need to allow me to finish. I will, I will, Hamza. Can, can you allow Hamza, me to finish? I will. Hamza, bro, bro. Listen, listen, bro. You haven't said anything relating, pertaining to the Gospels, okay? And, and we're talking about the character of Jesus versus the character of Muhammad. You're talking about Amalekites and you're staying there. No, 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 no. The character of Jesus. We wasn't making that into character of Jesus. And you, no, you've connected the Amalekites, we bro. We wasn't talking about specifically about the Amalekites. What we were speaking My about. My days. Let me but go ahead. But go ahead. Let me refresh your memory, right? I remember, we bro. Talking, I don't think you do. Tell no, but you're not mentioning anything from the Gospels. Are you? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I am letting you I'm letting you finish. Please, but just show that courtesy. I have let you show I've right. let I've so, let you speak right. Right. So for what, a long time. What I was saying to you, right, is that in the beginning of this conversation, we were speaking about the character of the prophet. You brought this conversation up, I believe. Right? So what I did, what I did is come and I gave you some examples, and the brother gave some examples about the character of the prophet. And one of the examples that I mentioned was the character, um, so some of the examples about the rules of engagement of war, right? That's what I said, right? So what I was doing is bringing up some of the hadith, like you shouldn't kill men, you shouldn't kill children, etc, etc, etc. That forms the character of the Prophet. If the Prophet Muhammad was barbaric and he was um, sort of like, inclining towards ethnic cleansing what prophet muhammad you know you know men women and children would have been allowed to be killed in certain battles yes, yes. if prophet muhammad was was endorsed or affiliated with that side of the understanding of killing so what i was doing is comparing the moral character of the prophet which we were, what we were speaking about to the gospel to the new testament and the old testament which we were doing and then that's when I brought up the Amalekites and I compared Prophet Muhammad's words about not killing men, women and children to Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 5 where God allowed collective punishment, right? So that I did not stray from what we were talking about. I was actually compliant to the conversation. You accused me of not being compliant to the conversation when I was, right? I'm saying to you that in the Torah it is allowed to ethnically cleanse the Amalekites. So I asked you, what did the Amalekites specifically do? You said that for 400 years that they were obviously persecuting and killing the Jewish people. Fine, that was your explanation. And you brought up Deuteronomy chapter 25 to justify what they did. Fine. But what I was also questioning with that is that what did the men, 
women and children do specifically to the Israelites. Yes. So then you try to obviously, you, what you did is read Deuteronomy 25 again to, okay. try, to try to make me understand something that yes, you thought I did not understand. Okay. Okay. So hold on, can I finish please? Yeah. Okay. So see, see how long the, last part, okay. the last part, the last part I was saying is that what I can understand in Deuteronomy chapter 25 is that God does not make a distinction between a combatant and a non-combatant, right? God does not make a distinction between a combatant and a non-combatant. So in other words, God just collectively punishes everybody that even if those people had nothing to do with the situation, that's what I believe, let me finish, that's why I believe that the God of the Old Testament is unjust because okay. he collectively punishes innocent people along okay. with the guilty. But that kind of that's kind of like in your faith anyway, because you believe that Jesus died for your sins, even though he was oh sinless okay, you want to go and, there and not Let's guilty. Go. All right. anyway, that's another topic. No, no, no. Okay. Now you brought up Aisha. But don't bring now it up if it's another Aisha. topic. Okay, that's fine. If you want to address it, fine. Now you brought up Aisha, right? So I'm okay, so back. you're taking a long so time, now, Hamza. You're taking a well, long answer. Let me quickly come in. Let me quickly come in because we okay, want to talk sure. about the history of the Gospels. Sure. Now, this is the hypocrisy of Islam. This is the hypocrisy. Have you not forgotten Surah 9 verse 5? What does it say? Kill the polytheists wherever you find them. And then what in the hadith them? and in, wait, in the hadith, it also, no, in, in the hadith, you, you tell, you wait, tell can Muslims, I just, we yeah. cherry pick verses, yeah, cherry pick. whereas you're doing the exact same no, thing. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Nobody's, no, nobody's, listen, no, all over the place. I'm all over the place. Let, okay, let speak. Let, okay, let, let okay the I'm all over this. Okay. Because maybe that's what we'll sort of, I'm going to choose another one. Should we, should we just give it two more points okay. and then we move to the next one? Okay, so, 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 like I said, okay. Oh, you don't like Surah 9 no more. <laughs> no, what, Surah 111? So, Surah 9. I thought we were in Surah yeah. 9. So, I thought Surah 9, Surah 9, verse 5. Yeah. Surah and 9, verse verse 9 verse triple 111. You can read verse 6. I don't, it doesn't matter. The point is. But the you point, just said. No, hold on, I feel, no, let, no, no, you Hamza, you see how you're interfering with my, on, my time. On, you do this all the time, on, Hamza. On, okay, on, and it speak. goes on. And, okay, so, clearly in your Quran, you are instructed to kill. Kill the infidel. Kill the polytheists. In fact, there's a hadith that says um, it was reported to the Prophet. I even know it off head. It was reported to the Prophet. Where um, basically the poly the children of the polytheists were killed. What did what did Muhammad say? Do you remember? Were they targeted? Were they targeted? No, no, look at this. <laughs> You guys don't even want to talk about. It. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking no, no. About it. Okay, so. I'm talking about it. The okay, so, it so, like do you get? You get your time. The, uh, Trust me. The children, right? You'll get your that time. Not even the context. The context was that. Okay, was you explain the context in your time. Yeah. So, so, the, the 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 it was reported to Muhammad that the children of the polytheists were killed, and he said, they are of them. He didn't say that was wrong. That should have never happened. So, this is a contradiction, a moral contradiction. This is hypocrisy of the highest order. The, you, you know, the difference between Jesus and Muhammad. Firstly, Muhammad is, is, is to be honest, he's, he's, he's a very much. When you read the Quran, study it very well. He's very much focused on war, on wars, getting into wars and things like this. Whereas the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There was a man that was blind, he healed him. In fact, Jesus was so humble, he said, don't tell nobody, just be quiet. That's how humble he was. There was, um, there was, there was like I said, the woman that was, had an issue of blood. Blood running down her legs. What did Jesus say? Woman, thou art loose. You are loose from your infirmity. You are loose from your pain. You are loosed from your, um, your, your depression and anxiety. Even on the cross, he said to the thief, you shall be with me in paradise. To the end of his life, he was still loving everybody. He passed on, you, you mentioned about, um, you mentioned, right, that Jesus spoke harshly to his mother. According to the Gospels. Now, what you, because you don't, because I, I, you don't understand the Gospels, right, 
what he was doing was remind, was stating messianic prophecy that they will celebrate his death the same way we celebrate it during Holy Communion. So what do we drink during Holy Communion? We drink wine. Do you get it now? Hold on, hold on. It, no alcohol. No alcohol. Do you understand? So when he, when he said, it's not my time, when Jesus said, it's not my time, it's because he hadn't died yet. He hadn't, he hadn't um, passed on. The Holy Communion is a symbol of his death. So that's the context, which you didn't know. Yes, and so no, now no, you're educated. You, why do you now say you, you don't know. When no, you don't know. Trust me, you don't know. Okay. Okay. So now, so so you're accusing us of not knowing something. No, but why would you, you ask the question? See, there's something that I why know. Why would you ask the there's, question? There's something that I know. No, no, Hamza. There's no. You don't need Hamza. Hamza. Just say you see. He's no, but why is he asking the question if he knows? To see, maybe to gauge you to see what your response is. Okay, you want to know? Like, come on. Let's. Okay. So, do you know how deeper it goes? It's not only just that, though. It's not only that. When, G when Moses turned the, the sea, when he turned it to blood, as one of the miracles, that was a symbol of the law. You, you, you won't know this. Sorry, but you said Wait, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. So, 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 when Moses turned the sea into blood, that was, that's also connected. That's also connected to when Jesus turned water into wine. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't know. Okay. It's too, it's it's too deep for you guys. Okay. Well, no, no, I can, I can it's too deep. Can you don't know. So, oh, so, so, so the point can is, just, you brought you brought a point up about oh the genocide, etc. I don't think you have a Quranic solution to that problem. To what? To the problem. Okay. And in fact, where in the Quran to does what, anyway? You don't have a Quranic solution to a group of people like the Amalekites that want to wipe out the Jewish people. We know in your hadith, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. We know it says in your hadith, kill the Jew behind the tree. There will be no day of judgment until all the Jews are killed. Yeah, yeah, it's eschatological because, because we know, see, I know, I know the Quran, I know the hadith. Okay, so and you know that's true. But what is your point? My point, my point, point is you go on, when we talk about Jews, we're not talking about just adults, you know. We're not just talking about women, you know. We're talking about the whole lot. Right. So can I, can I kill the Jew behind the tree? Respectfully and, 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 and also, just this, this one going to okay, end. Go this ahead. one going to end. I want to respond to you. Like I said yeah. to you, in your own hadith, there are moral contradictions, double standards, like, like a Twix, like Twix, you know, Twix, two bars, double standards. Yeah? When they came to Muhammad about the children that died, okay? that were killed, the polytheists apparently, yeah? What did he say? They are of them. Where was the remorse? Where was the compassion? Zero. Okay. Zero. Okay, can I respond to you now? Zero. I was patient and I listened. Right, can I respond? Jesus did not live by the sword. Right, so my response is this. My response is this. And I want you to listen very carefully. Okay. You said you accused the Quran and saying that we don't have the solution to um, the problem know, of to the, the problem of the Amalekites. Yeah, so basically, don't. if um, you know somebody wants to like harm you, you know what what does what does what does the Quran what prescription does the Quran give to those who are attacking you? Right now, the, I think the the Bible actually makes a worse a worse case. Um, really? um, to, uh, the Bible actually <laughs> gives a worst case answer to this problem, when? and I'll tell you why. Well, let's look at it from two angles here. First remember, of all, right, I'm no, a hold on, hold on, just, no, no, I just no, want to interject this bit. You have to remember, because you said the same thing. I'm a born-again Christian, so capture the context of the Gospels, I beg you. No, I am. Okay, because we're I, talking I, about I a new totally, covenant. I'm okay. totally taking that into consideration. Okay, because you haven't. But do you, ha you, you have to let me no, answer. Okay, go ahead. Right. So I think I think that the Bible gives the worst prescription for, um, you know, if somebody wants Bible. to attack you and fight you and kill you, right? Because what I Jesus. see what I see here is two extremes, right? You got one extreme where the, the God of the Old Testament prescribes ethnic cleansing, and he also prescribes collective punishment for even though. There are people in that collectivity that had nothing to do with the situation, like men, women and children. 
That's point number one. So that's unjust. Then you've got the second extreme where Jesus said, love your enemies. That's the second extreme. Can you imagine, right? You, you said that the Bible gives a, 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 you know, the Quran doesn't give a prescription and it doesn't give the answer, but the, the, but the Bible does, right? But if we look at the New Testament, right? Yes, let's look at right? the New let's Testament. Let's look at the New Testament. Yeah, let's right? look at the New Testament. Jesus said, Finally. what did Jesus say? I've not, Jesus said, love your enemies. If someone's about to attack you, right? If you're saying that Amalekites for 400 years, right, have been persecuting the, 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 the Jewish people, about the how is love your enemy is gonna, gonna be the, the solution to that problem? If anything, what you're doing is encouraging ethnic cleansing by loving your enemy. Okay. Let, no, hold on, let me finish, okay, okay, let me finish, okay. let me finish, right? Because <laughs> what, what you said just makes absolutely no sense. It makes perfect no, sense. No, it, well, in your world it does. Perfect sense. In the wider world it does. Perfect right. sense. Because you're, you're oh, hanging, on, you're, I, I, no, hold on. you're enjoying enjoy staying in the Old Testament where finish. you all come to live. Let me finish, let me finish. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt Right. So yes, did. Yes, Jesus did. said, "Love your enemies." Let's break that down to the actual finest point. Right. So a man is coming to you with a knife, right? Or someone's about to harm your family, right? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be like, "Well, Jesus said that I should love my enemies." So come on, attack me. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna, or are you gonna defend your family? You're gonna defend your honor. You're gonna defend what God has blessed you with, which is your family, and you're gonna allow someone to to basically like obliterate your family because jesus said love your enemies wrong it makes, hold on. wrong context it makes, it makes no sense wrong context. right hold on it makes no sense logically theoretically it makes no sense right so you've got two extremes okay turn the, the other cheek is not a good idea turn the other cheek <coughs> in certain situations you can Turn the other okay. cheek. I'm not saying. In Where do we see that in the Quran? Well, hold on one second. Where does it say in the Quran? Turn the no, other no, cheek. No, no, no. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because now you're just all over the place now. No. And now, you, no, you are. Because now you're asking a it's different. It's character. Now you're asking a different question about well, what does the Quran say? I'm responding to what you've asked. Well, I'm saying we got better so morals. Allow me to the Bible has better Allow morals than the Quran. Simple. Like I said, you got two Simple extremes. Sense. You got the extreme of collective punishment in the New in the Old Testament, where God does not make it distinction between a friend or foe right innocent innocent I, I can link this topic to the next one so if I'm to go right and then so the innocent has been affected by what the guilty has okay. done and that's unjust in itself and then you've got the second extremism is what love your enemies so so an enemy that comes to you who wants to basically cause you harm and i'm supposed to what extend a red carpet for that you, person Panza, no, you have no, no, no concept no, of forgiveness in your quran forgiveness does not exist not, you that's see, why you're like you're how can it even be possible to Allow forgive to somebody oh goodness me, me bro me where's the concept of forgiveness Allow me to finish. I'll get, I'm to the quran there's none now. There's none. I'm going to come to the Quran. You fight you, me, I'm going to fight you. Why are you not allowing me to finish? You fight me, I'm going to fight Allah you. Allah says in the Quran, fight those who fight against you, but be not the first to be the one who persecutes and saw Bakra. So there's your answer. Where? Allah says, fight those who, who fight, fight you. you, but be yeah, not the first yeah, person to transgress. Yeah, that's the heart, that's the spirit. Yeah, says, that's it, that's it. So, right. so that's so helpful. That's, a, that's, that's very useful in a progressive society. You, mm, you need yeah. to let me finish. Yeah. You need to let me finish. Makes sense. The Quran is done more well, just. Man. The Quran is more just because the Quran says. Very good. Very good. Do not transgress beyond the bounds, right? The Quran is more just. The Bible actually encourages injustice by saying love your enemies or collective punishment that we see in the Old Testament, right? Now let's go to the Quran now because it keeps talking about the Quran. So Allah says in the Quran, what? He says. And I recite in Arabic. Allah says, لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلونكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتكفتوا إليهم إن الله لا يهدي المسلمين. I like it in Arabic and then I'll translate. Yeah, no, it's fine. Allah says, Allah does not forbid you in dealing kindly and justly towards them, except for those who do not drive your, your homes, that you should be kind and just towards them. Kindness with conditions. God, love those who Forgiveness are, with no, no, conditions. No, you need to let me finish. Allow no, but you've been talking a lot, man. Come because on. because you asked the question. I'm sorry if you don't like the, the answers, but you asked the question. You need to let me finish the answers. Okay. If you don't like it, then we should part ways at this point. So what I'm saying to you, right, is that the Quran says, 
God does not forbid you in dealing kindly towards them. Yeah. Who is them here? Allah is talking about the disbelievers. Yeah. That you should be kind and just towards the disbelievers. Yeah. Except yeah. for those who do not drive you at your homes, that you should be kind and just towards them. For God loves those who are just. Allah loves those who are just. So Allah says that you should be kind okay, and you should be just towards the disbelievers. Okay. Right? So is this is this the same justice? Is is this is this the same justice where on the day of judgment the Muslims in hell will be exchanged for a Jew and Christian? Is that justice? No. Which I heard is that the say you make me apostatize, right? You make me apostatize. That sin will be transferred onto you. So this is no. So you have no. You you need to do some maths, my friend. You need to. We need. We need to do okay, some. Touch the second okay. So I know you're running from the second. No, topic. I'm not running so from nothing. Topic, I'm not running from the second. Topic. Topic. Go to the second topic. This exact thing that you're talking about now. Okay. We talked about this off camera. You know that, right? A few weeks. How long did we talk for? This. You didn't address nothing. I did address <laughs> no, this. Don't try it. No, 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 don't try. Don't try. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to cover the gospels. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. It's up to those guys. Um. I'll Okay. So, Sorry about that. No, 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 sure. we'll definitely catch up. so we have to be clear that where it says a Muslim would be exchanged for a Jew and a Christian. Is there any more? No, can we can we address the actual? Because your job. Yeah, we can talk about that now. We, don't worry, don't worry. We didn't talk about it. We can talk about it now. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Amzaman. All the best, man.